Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Madras Arsenal. Today I'm going to be talking about the Kukuri. The Kukuri, again, sorry for the mispronunciation. I looked at several reviews online of the Kukuris, and I think a lot of people underestimate them, and they're reviewing them on the wrong uh, things. So, a lot of people get frustrated that because this can't chop down a tree, um, it's not suitable for a uh, survival situation. I would disagree. There's so many things that this thing is useful for. Um, it, it was initially designed to thrust and then swipe down, uh, and that would disappear. Bell, your opponent. Okay. Yes, it can. Uh, it's rumored to take off limbs, things like that. But you're not going to sit there and be hacking your entire way through a battle, because you're going to finally event and eventually blow out your arm. Uh, I can whittle with this. I can chop with this. Sure, it's not going to chop down a tree in, you know, two or three hits. Uh, but slowly but surely, it will. Um, and, and a lot of people. They just don't like the traditional stuff anymore. Um, I tend to disagree on, on that wholeheartedly. Um, leather sheath, you know, it's great. Water resistant. Um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna mess up. It's not gonna burn up if you leave it close to a fire. It's not gonna melt. Um, it fits easy into a little sash if you make it. Okay, a lot of people don't like that because they have to carry it in their backpack or whatever. Just take five bucks, go get some material, make yourself a little sash. I've hiked with this thing for like five miles already. It, it, it moves a little bit, you just shift it, and it's good to go. Um, it's, it's easy to draw out, okay? So it's not cumbersome. It's right in front of you, and if you come across somebody, uh, you know, if you pull this thing out, they're probably going to leave you alone. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a great knife. I don't understand why people uh, cannot grasp that you can't take something that's not what it's designed to do and if it doesn't do it they get frustrated and they, they just dismiss it. Um, it's, a, it's a great knife. It's got an illustrious history. It's been used since like 1640 something. Um, virtually unchanged. So if it's good enough for that and it's good enough for the British uh, Gurkha Regiment, I think it's pretty good for a survival situation. Um, this thing it's just it's a work of art and it's almost like a masterpiece so next time uh, you see somebody uh, dismissing the cur cur curry just come watch this and uh, you know you'll be amazed I'll do some cutting videos here shortly and uh, we'll get down and see what it can okay do. so as far as hiking goes uh, the kukri uh, does fairly well um, like I said it fits into the belt or your sash, and uh, I've probably done about five or six miles a day, and it just has not been an issue, really. Uh, and so, test number one, I guess you would call it, is uh, go for me. Like I said, kukri does well, attach to the sash.